I've been known. I've known you for like five years already. Mm. How long? Mm. Yeah, easily you had five like years. No hair. What, I was what's, bald. What's up with that? Yeah, so I had alopecia, uh, complete alopecia, like mm. universalist. I lost all my hair, eyebrows, arms, legs. I mean, the whole thing. It was very weird um, from stress and drug abuse and alcohol abuse and an unattended nervous breakdown. I think really what really? Was, that's what was really happening. Because I remember we didn't know one another well. No. Then. Um, no. You just waltzed in and I had sort of, a few yeah. moments with friends. And <laughs> yeah. I'm like, check your, do you late for your blow dry? <laughs> <laughs> not a hair on her head, but anyway. <laughs> that was very funny. I, I was actually, I thought it was quite insane for my friend to bring me to a hair salon when I don't have any hair. <laughs> oh, who was that? Hannah? <laughs> Hannah, <Is> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. as it started growing back, um, well, I had a lifestyle change. I decided that. I needed I'm to lift fix no pumps. Yeah. Cool. Oh, there we go. Hello. We up in the world. <laughs> Cheap date. <laughs> That's about as exciting as my life is. Anyway, um, yeah, I gave up everything. I woke up one day. In fact, next week it'll be three years on the dot. Seventeenth of uh, 16th of October is oh, my wow. sobriety date. Oh. So, but you didn't go into, into treatment, did I didn't you? go into treatment, but I realized that I needed a, a power bigger than myself. I needed God to, I needed to just surrender and go, listen, yeah. I'm not in control of my life. And so not, um, it's unmanageable. And I actually can't do this without you. And I got down on my knees. And <laughs> that was that end of story. Didn't look back. Um, wow. Yeah. And how did your hair grow back? Well, uh, a couple of things. So when you're not putting your body under as much pressure, it sort of tends to heal itself. I found a really good supplement online that my mom had done some research about mm -hmm. that helps with intercellular communication and autoimmune diseases and stuff like that. Right. And my little hairs started growing back in patches. And then every morning I would wake up and I'd put shaving cream on my head and shave my head with a razor to get all the little hairs to grow evenly and that took about 18 months of waking up every morning and shaving my head. Yeah. Did you hear the story that um, if you cut your hair and shave your hair it grows faster? Yeah, is that a, is that a lie? Mm. Really? You know why? Why? Because what happens on the outside of your skin yeah. has no influence cutting wise on what's happening on the inside where the hair is actually sort of really? produced. Okay. But I think, I think what, what had happened here is there mm. must have been some I'm so scared to use the word psychosomatic sort of absolutely. conviction. No, absolutely. But that's got a huge part to play. Because, it has a massive because how part. Because how we think and how we feel, how we hear, and how our bodies respond to what's actually happening, it's all connected. That it's is all, so real. So that's that nonsense sure. story of positive thinking, the power of positive... No, no, no. It's, it's um, uh, quantifiable. It's quantum physics. Wow. The fact wow. that your body responds to how we speak.